He's a fucking no, he's a dog, shit, dude. Man. He is. Sorry about that. Go ahead, AJ. Uh, what about Eric Bieniemy? Is he still in the running? Like, is any or could any of these teams that these these guys that haven't hired anybody is he going to get an interview? Like, what's going on? He was obviously the last couple off seasons top of the list. Yeah, I haven't heard that he's eliminated from Indy, so I think there is a possibility that he could be part of the fourth round. However many rounds there are, but I think the enemy's really in play for a play calling OC job. A couple different places, you know, Baltimore. I think the Commanders is really one to consider. And like, so you'd be like, well, he's already an OC. Why would he leave Mahomes? He shares play calling with Andy Reid. I mean, he does a lot of it, but he shares it. Uh, if that's were, breaking say, news again, yeah, you said this before. That is massive news if that's the case. I think that is out there. I mean, I, I look, don't. Because the conversation is always Andy Reid does all the play calling. So when you're hiring, just like, no offense to him, Shane Steichen right now over in Philadelphia with Sirianni. Uh, you can kind of go around all the head coaches that call plays. Yeah, Kafka over there with Dayball. I don't know if he's calling plays or Day. I think Dayball let him call uh, plays. Yeah. No, no, no. Kafka's calling plays. It's, it's actually pronounced Kafka. He's calling plays. Oh, okay. Oh, Thank you for that Kafka. correction. The – <laughs> but these guys that don't call plays, I think it is automatically like a hit. Like, okay, he's a part of the offense, he is, but Andy Reid's the guy calling the plays. You saying, I think you said this a couple weeks ago, that they're splitting play calling duties. That was news to me. You saying it's already out there, maybe. I feel like we live in this world. I did not know that. Is that true? Is that factual statement? He also does call plays? I just know he, he does a lot. Like, does he physically say the words to the quarterback? Probably not, but I know he's very, very, very involved. But it's different when you're. What's let's that say mean? he's a that's calling call play. What's <laughs> that mean, Rap Sheet? Let's say he's the play calling OC for a defensive head coach like Ron Rivera or for John Harbaugh. It does put him in a little bit of a different category, and it sets him up maybe to be a better head coach in the future in the minds of the owners. Even though I think that's kind of dumb because being a head coach has almost nothing to do with whether or not you call plays. It's all like leadership and such. But anyway, that's kind of where it is now. Now with that being said, that's the issue with having a defensive head coach. If the enemy goes into any of these places and has success, he's going to be a head coach after one year. And that coach is going to have to re find another Eric B enemy, which seemingly there isn't a lot of also hopefully B enemy is a good play caller in the games, yeah. which we have seen some people who have offensive, brilliant minds, not necessarily gr uh, great play callers, because it takes a skill to call plays. I think that's always been the thing that fans think about Eric Bieniemy is like, well, Andy Reid's calling the plays, even though a lot of play, uh, players and other people have given him credit for a lot of the creativity and the designing of the plays. The play calling is such a big conversation. But if he's a head coach, you can bring in an offense coordinator to run your offense. Mm, right. Seems like he should get another shot at it. Chuck has a question for 